Alright, what's up everybody? I'm coming at you here with a water video. I mean, I don't know what the percent of the body is uh, made up of water, but basically all our cells and stuff are like, I think 90 or 80 percent, 98 percent water or something like that, something crazy. I'll, I'll put the uh, statistic up now. But anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all about uh, what's the most healthiest kind of water you can drink. You see I'm here at, uh, I don't know if you can see that, a little spring here in town. A little river flowing right there in the back. Or a little not river, a little stream basically. But anyway, let y'all check it out. I bring my, uh, that's what I do. Let's bring a bunch of bottles of water, glass jugs and stuff. And uh, maybe you can see the water there flowing out. You just uh, fill it up. I got a bunch of them. It'll last me a couple days. Uh, Fill it up, then I run through a Brita water filter because you see all the uh, the orange down there. There's a lot of iron in this water. I don't know if it'd be good to be drinking that much iron, so I run through the Brita filter, and then I drink it. <laughs> all right, I mean I put it even like in my oatmeal, that kind of water. When I make coffee, I use that water, and no joke, every time I start drinking this water, I feel so much better compared to drinking bottled water, any other kind of water. Feel a whole lot better, one. Feel a whole lot more hydrated. And I wanna drink water more. That's one. That's the three things I've noticed. Cause it, I don't know, this water's like so natural, it just tastes really good. It's got a different taste to it. Anyway, but there's studies and stuff, people talking about leaving water out in the sun. Like uh, it charges your water up. It changes like the molecular, uh, pattern of the water and stuff like that about the water chart thing, i got some notes right here i've done from like kind of doing a little bit of research uh i write really sloppy so i'm trying to read real fan here all right put water in a glass bottle container it's got to be glass okay in the sun you can put it in the sun to get the best of both worlds to get it charged completely put it on the sun and the grass because just like being earth as a human i have a video on that all the negative ions you get from that which is a good thing for you you can, it can uh, go up through the glass into the water. That's why you need glass too, and then the sun can get through the glass. There's no harmful contaminants. So put it in the sun, on grass, to cause ions to get into the human body, because it gets into the water, then you drink it, right? All right, let's see. Uh, it transfers ions from the earth to water and causes exclusion zones, which are a positive charge area in the middle slash center of the water, and a negative charge area on the outside of the water and can enhance intracellular hydration. Let me make sure I pronounce that right. All right, basically this is, it's called naturally charged water, right? Uh, structured water, uh, let's see. Need to sit at least anywhere from probably five to 30 minutes. Obviously, the closer you get to 30 minutes probably be the most optimal, but if you only got five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever. Five to 30 minutes, because that's kind of what's shown for when you earth yourself, the human body, you need to be out there at least five to 30 minutes to get the benefits from it. Uh, of earthing it to get the positive effect or enough negative ions from the earth. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's the end of that, so. Well, I got a, I mean, I got this whole page of just knowledge and like research and questions. And I'm telling you, if you watch my last video, the Da Vinci thing, I hadn't done that yet, but that's the next thing I would do. But the principle was carry a notebook or notebook around with you everywhere. Uh, any question, anything that comes up, anything. Like I just thought, what's the healthiest water I can drink? I write that down. I come back to it later, and then I research that. You know what I'm saying? And I get the answer, and then I get the knowledge I pass on you guys. But so there's that. Back to the video. Uh, there's a website. I'm about to. I'm gonna put a, a video of like the uh, maybe even some links of the studies and stuff for leaving water out in the sun. Like, what's the healthiest water you can drink? But oh, I was about to say something. Oh, uh, it's about to slip my mind. It'll come back to me in a second. Anyway, anyway, 
I'm about to fill these up. See y'all in the next clip. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What I was gonna say, there's a, a website called like Find My Spring or Find findthespring.com and you can type in your address it'll show you springs that are really close by uh, that's another thing I feel like if you drink more local water that'd be better for you anyway out here see people got some graffiti out here anyway enjoying this beautiful day got the shirt off I just went for a walk even got the pajamas rolled up get some uh, sun on the quads and the calves but beautiful day make sure you stay hydrated help your skin digestion numerous amount of things it's just for your overall health you need to be drinking a lot of water i shoot for a gallon a day uh slowly work the way up because if you just say you're drinking six cups a day and you start drinking a gallon a day you're going to be peeing like crazy, but it only lasts like a day or so, then your body used to it. Another thing, though, if I tell y'all a water, this water is the healthiest or whatever, right, okay? And then you start drinking it, and you don't feel as good as you did when you're drinking another water, probably should be drinking other water. Everybody's body is a little different, you know what I'm saying? But generally, you know what I'm saying, the water I'm telling you should be the healthiest, should make, should be the best for everyone. Anyway... So another thing about this getting water down here makes me have to work on my squat, right? I have to get a really deep squat. I'll show you how I have to do it. I got a bunch of water bottles in here. Some big ones, some small ones. I can hold four cups in these smaller ones here. I got some that'll hold like eight cups. And one that holds six. So I just need to get some big gallon jugs, some big ones. So I, had to, so I don't have to come so often. Anyway, so I have to get the water. I switch left and right hands. Make sure I'm using each side of my body. You don't ever want to do something on one side of your body all the time. You'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, you can't see the water, but it's below my feet. But what I do, I'll just take the lid off. Just say I'll go left hand this time. I gotta reach way down here. Sometimes I'll just stay down here like this. Most of the time I get up in between, but sometimes I'll stay down. Get to really sit in the squat. This is uh, your natural resting position. Humans are basically made to rest like this. So work on your squat. Work on just relaxing in the squat. Now I'm going to go right hand. Pretty much it. I just do it for all these bottles, and I'm super hydrated. All right, guys. I'm about to finish up the video here. Just want to last few thoughts. Leave some last few thoughts, y'all. Uh, because some springs, like you see that, how much iron is in that? There's, it can be like a bacteria in the iron or whatever like that, or just drinking so much iron and ma magnesium or manganese, excuse me, like that may not be good for you, can rust your insides out basically, like those pipes and stuff are. So anyway, if it has a bunch of iron, basically here's how they have, here's how they have the best order, okay? In that case, you would get an iron and manganese footer, right? But really, here's the best, uh, the best proven, uh, dang, I can't really talk, the best proven thing way to get the the best water possible okay so let's see here are my notes uh, okay well, the thing with the iron and manganese filter uh after fil filtering that water through those filters it loses the uh, ionic structure uh the positive it loses the positive and negative ion separation when the water is structured or clustered. So normally when you sit out in the sun or something, you get structured, or it's another word for that's clustered. Basically when you run through those filters, you lose all that ionic structure and the negative and positive ion charges and stuff like that. So basically you need to do something once you filter them. 
So after you run it through that filter, you need something called a hydro energizer, which is a structured water unit. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to go go through my notes. Give me one second, guys. Kind of a lot to be keeping up in my head. You know what I'm saying? It's all relatively fresh. Okay, in that case, uh, you, you always put the hydro energizer, which is a stru uh, structured water unit. It restructuralizes the water. You put that at the end of your filter, okay? Now, the best filter to have before your hydro en energizer filter is a reverse osmosis remineralizer. Look those up. Those are the best to have. Because the remote reverse osmosis gets all the harmful gets all the harmful uh, iron, manganese, you know what I'm saying, chloride, fluoride, chlorine. I mean, it gets all that minerals out, right? But the thing is, it takes out like uh, calcium and things like that, the good minerals that you actually need. So with the that's what rever reverse osmosis does. It takes all those out, so it's completely pure, clean water. It just has no minerals, which is not a good thing either. You don't want to be drinking non with water with no nutrients in it, you know what I'm saying? So what the remineralizer does is that puts the good uh, minerals back in it that are actually healthy for you to drink. So one, I say go ahead and get spring water, well water, because that's better than tap water to start with, okay? Then, or even start with tap water, but I think the well water is even better. Then you run it through a reverse osmosis filter with a re with a remineralizer, okay? And then, once you run it through that, you run it through a hydro energizer, which is a structured water unit. It restructures the water. So, uh, well that does too another thing with the structured water, if it does have any other harmful things in it, it, like when it structures the water, it makes it where it's like unharmful to you. It's kind of, kind of wild. But, that's it for that. I'll put some links in the bio. I've been doing a bunch of research on the water filters and stuff too. I'm gonna be getting one for my shower head as well. Uh, I've been reading basically. I forgot. Like a 20 minute shower is that you like absorb the things in the water, which is the same thing as your tap water. You absorb the stuff in the water like five days worth of drinking basically. So that's almost more important than the drinking because you you know what I'm saying you absorb a lot more through your skin, your pores. So gonna be getting one of those soon. Those are only like 25 bucks, which are now these water filters can get up. I, you can get those under sink, like under your house, or you can get some that sit on the counter. Uh, there, I saw one. Now I'm not. I might start looking. I've only I've been looking at the ones that you do like under sink or under the house. Those are about. Actually, I don't know the prices on those yet. I'm just kind of reading all the, getting all the information on them. Then I saw one now on top one for 500 bucks, like 534 or something like that. So it'll probably be. I, then I did see some other little under house ones around that same price. So kind of pricey but like for the shower only 25 bucks I saw some up to 40 50 but it just depends which ones you get like the one I got like on a bookmark basically 25 bucks is the one I've seen that gets the most stuff out of it but you can get some with like a massager head on it like it I guess the way it shoots out the water and this cost those are the ones I've seen that cost a little more but that's it guys even if that's you know, five hundred dollars out of reach for you now uh, that's not something I would really jump out and buy yet. That's something I um because I want it, but I don't want to go drop five hundred dollars on that right now. Honestly, um, start putting money aside for that, and I obviously don't have my own house yet. And when I would, that's when I would seriously get one. But uh, there's other things you can do. You can get on top, uh, like things you can just put on the filter. You can just look up water filters because if you're filtering anything out, it's better. But make sure you look up what is filtering out because some of them really don't get much out so that's gonna be it i'll put the links in the bio hope y'all enjoyed the uh video hope i uh opened y'all's eyes a little bit because a lot of water out there is definitely not good for you if you want to feel your best perform your best you know what i'm saying live your best you're just going to live longer there are anti-aging properties and stuff when you're actually drinking uh really healthy water like that you're not putting any lead mercury you know what i'm saying chlorine fluoride you're not putting any lead any you know what i'm saying any kind of pollutants the shot like the other thing like any fungi any, anything you know what i'm saying it's just completely pure 
water that you're putting in your body that's going to be the best water for you so that's it hope y'all enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if you did comment anything any questions y'all have any other videos y'all like to see any other topics y'all want me to cover anything anything you know how i can make the videos better anything you know what i mean i'm open to anything just comment talk to me share it if you would get this information out I'm trying to help as many people as possible you know be healthier feel better etc you know what i mean anyway that's it for the video guys stay happy stay healthy peace everybody